what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another age of empires mobile video in today's episode gonna show you guys what might be the best beginner signat ring in the game gonna show you guys how this ring work how you can get it and all the good value you can get from the ring if you're new here be sure to subscribe for more content turn on that bell notification and never miss out like the video share it with your friends leave some comments down below let's get started All right, ladies and gentlemen, Age of Empires Mobile is scheduled to come out on October 17th. That is when it's going to be available for everyone to download. In today's episode, I'm going to show you guys the Ring of the Hyacinth, one of the best beginner rings to get in the game. First of all, I have to call Sanzu back because he is wearing the ring. I'm going to stop gathering and I think this is going to piss off a lot of people, especially someone who wants to gather this node. Hopefully no one from my alliance is watching. Ha ha ha. Maybe I'll come back and finish it. But we're gonna leave that for later. So if you wanna access the ring, you're gonna click on this icon over here. And then go to the find craft. This is where you can buy your ring. You're going to be getting one free spin every single day. And when you do the free spin, you're gonna get these coins right here, which you can use to buy the ring. So let us do the one free spin and see what we get. Okay, so we got this copper sand. This copper sand is going to be used to level up the ring to a higher level and get even more stats. So let us check out some of the things here on the side. You have the crafting rewards. If you craft 30 in a week, you're going to get 100 coins, which you can use to buy a signet ring. And then you go, you're going to go to the jeweler's collection. This is where you're going to buy your signet ring. As you can see here, the legendary ones are very expensive. So when we go to the bottom, you will have access to these common rings right here. So there are so many different kinds. And as you can see, they only cost 200 coins. What are these coins called? Okay, I forgot the name. So the signet ring that I'm talking about is this one right here, known as the ring of the hyacinth. I already bought one. You can only buy one copy of the ring. You cannot have like three of them. I thought you could get three, but you can only buy one. So I bought one and it's sold out. Gonna show you guys how to use it. There is another ring here for gathering as well. That might be a good one to pick up if you're gonna be gathering a lot of resources. However, the ring of the Hyacinth is the best one to go with. You might also have to get this copper sand as well to level up the ring. But that's going to be another video for another day. So now that you have unlocked the ring system in the game, I forgot which level you're going to get the ring system. But when you get it, you can use it to buy the ring. If you want to spend some money, you can go over here and buy some plenishing hammers just to buy the rings. Um, if you want to spend your gems to get some plenishing hammer, you can go to your VIP. And I'm going to show you guys in a bit. First of all, let me claim this claim this vip so if you go to the vip store and you scroll down you can see that you can buy some of these hammers now this is at vip 5 or vip 4 i think i forgot you should be able to buy them and then get them to buy the rings or you could get the one free spin every single day and make some good use of it the ring of the hyacinth in my opinion is the best ring to buy as a brand new beginner so i'm going to show you guys what you can get from it so if we go over here, let me see. I fought some tribes on the map. So when I click on Sanzu, we're going to see the ring of the Hyacinth. I have already equipped it on Mr. Sanzu. And as you can see here, the level is very little right now. It's only level 6. I'm trying to push it all the way up to level 30. And then it's going to give me, let's see, the level 30 is going to give me 25% XP, which means I'll get 25% on the hero that is wearing this ring. I thought I could buy like three copies and then have them on each one of my heroes. Unfortunately, you can only buy one version of the same ring. So right now it's only level five. I just need to level it up, push it to level 30 and then get 25% good stuff. So when you click on this icon, it's gonna show you what you can get from the ring. You get troop defense and you get troop health. These are the statistics at maximum level 30. You get 6.8% troop defense and 3.4% troop health, which is not bad. 
and then when we click on the equipment skills you can see the levels as you level up the ring this is what you get right now for me it's only level one and i have 5.7 plus five percent if i take it to level 10 i'll be getting 10 percent experience this game requires you to level up all of your heroes it's gonna take some times before you level all of them up before we get out of here gonna show you guys some simple tips and tricks for your account when you first start out make sure you take every hero to level 50 because it is very very important when you take your hero to level 50 you're gonna go to your hero talent tree and then do a little something over there okay i cannot access the talent tree from here so let us go back to the hero section which is somewhere here so for every hero that you get make sure you go to the talent tree and then the first thing you want to do is get this point over here field battle experience it's going to give you five percent xp you should do this for each one of the three heroes because these talents are going to stack and give you like 15 percent xp so do this for all the three heroes in your lineup and then when you take your hero to level 50 you should trigger this strength in number talent right here because you can get it at level 50 as you can see here so take your hero to level 50 trigger this strength in numbers and this strength in numbers is going to trigger the military specialty of your hero so when you trigger the military specialty of the hero you're gonna get a lot of boost that will help the statistics of your hero so when we go to the hero lineup these are the hero lineups that i have on the map as you can see here this one is 180 percent the classification is glorious and i have all the military specialty triggered from level 50. now if you take a look at this hero right here so this lineup as you can see here i haven't taken them to level 50 and i haven't triggered the military specialty as you can see here it is only excellent with 40 percent but if you take them to level 50 and you trigger the military specialty and you use the same troop the same commander leading the same troop type you're gonna get 180 percent so now we're gonna check out the ring of the higher synth and the good thing with this game is we have the auto battle feature which is one of the best things about this game so we're gonna go auto field battle and we're gonna be using sanzu right here so sanzu is wearing the ring of the higher synth and you're gonna see how he's gonna get more experience when compared to the other two so we're gonna hit auto battle and then this thing is going to auto battle for me i don't need to do anything this is the beauty of this game so sanzu is gonna fight the guy when he's done we're gonna see how much experience we got based off of the ring of the hyacinth Mr. Sanzu, one of the best lineups for swordsmen in the Age of Empires mobile. So let's see what he's going to do for us today. How much experience he's going to get. My plan is to take this ring all the way up to level 30. So he's done fighting. The war report is going to show up. It's right here. So let's go and check it out. So we're going to scroll down. As you can see here, Sanzu got 20,362 experience. Meanwhile, Philip and Theodora got um, 19,500. So the ring is only level 1 with 5%. If I take it to level 10, it's going to give me 10%. And then if I keep leveling it up, I'll get 25%. And that's going to be a lot more experience that I get from here. Now, I thought I could buy three copies of the same ring and then use it on each hero. But unfortunately, you can only buy one. So yep, you can use that ring to level up the primary commander, the one who is leading everyone. Because the primary commander, when we click on this guy, you can see that this skill will level up when you level up the hero. The next level up is going to be at upgrade the hero to level 120 and commander skill will automatically be upgraded from level 35 to level 40. So that is why I have the ring on Sanzu because I want to level up his rage skill as fast as possible so this is what it is and that's it ladies and gentlemen this is the ring of the hyacinth yep ring of the hyacinth 
it's pretty good you should get it as a brand new beginner i think it is the best beginner ring to have in the game what do you guys think for all the veterans playing the game if you're watching what do you think is the best ring in the game comment down below if you're new subscribe for more content until then i'll see you guys in the next video